3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. I feel like this all the time trying to politically awaken people that they're being lied to, that there's an agenda. It's not left or right. It's, hey, there's mind control going on. The signals broadcast 24 hours a day through all this media. Just become aware of it, and they'll say, there's nothing going on. And I want to say, put on these glasses or start chewing concrete. <laughs> They have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful. And they have blinded us to the truth. The question is, do we all work for central bankers? That's what I want to address to our guest tonight. Our impulses are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness that resembles sleep. An estimated 50 to 70 million Americans suffer from a sleep disorder or sleep deprivation. Outside the limit of our sight, feeding off us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners. Latest census numbers prove the United States has the biggest gap between rich and poor compared to all westernized countries today. Our projections show that by the year 2025, not only America, but the entire planet will be under the protection and the dominion of this power alliance. The gains have been substantial, both for ourselves and for you, the human power elite. <laughs> For the first time in all of human history, mankind is politically awakened. That's a total new reality. I've got one that can see. We can't be the only ones who can see. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's got at the root of all our problems. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital, the old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. We don't need pessimism. I have two words for you. Predator drones. <laughs> and who are you, little fella? You will never see it coming. And I'm predicting the first guy who uses a Second Amendment weapon to bring a drone down that's been hovering over his house is going to be a folk hero in this country. Nice. There is a signal broadcast every second of every day through our television sets. I'm just trying to warn you folks, the television is a giant LED weapon system. It's so advanced. They got a monkey farm in Bastrop, folks. They do all sorts of testing on great apes, rhesus monkeys, the whole nine yards. And they go, oh, you didn't see this, and punch a button, and it'd be hundreds of monkeys with wires in their brains with television sets brainwashing them. All I ever have to do is be famous. People watch me, and they love me. You can have a little taste of that good life, too. Now, I know you want it. Hell, everybody does. Do it to your own kind. What's the threat? We all sell out every day. Might as well be on the winning team. The real men of the world have to stand up and say, I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Time to take a stand, boys. You know what? You got a little courage. Stand up for yourself. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones, coming to you live from the front lines of the InfoWar. It's Friday, yeah, folks. I'm going to give a press conference and how to buy a sailboat as... Uh. Live the Republic! Death to the New World! Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back live on this Friday edition. Dr. Nick Baggage is going to be joining us on a host of issues, including brain chips for the troops, positronics uh, type warfare systems and so much more also global warming scientists covered up a skeptics uh, damaging review the paper echoes climate gate showing the organized takeover and socialistic mccarthyism it's all 
coming up on this live Friday edition. Massive transmission lined up for you today. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Stay with us. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theory. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. I don't know what he is except a conspiracy theory. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's begun. You can feel it. So we have even right there. What's his name? the fate of humanity the time to choose sides has come we are the resistance we are the info war it is friday ladies and gentlemen the 16th day already of may 2014 i am your host alex jones and we're going to be live here for the next three hours again thank you so much for joining us wow again incredible amounts of news Here's the good news. We have power. We can force the illegitimate criminals that have hijacked the federal government to do the right thing on aiding al-Qaeda in Syria, uh, on so many issues when we say no. And now it's being reported that Obama is uh, eyeing executive action to stop deportations, the Associated Press is reporting, because of massive, massive massive public anger. The latest round is 36,000 illegals, aggravated felons. It's hundreds of thousands of illegals, period, being released. We're talking rapists, child molesters, you name it. It just shows the lawlessness. And now because there's been hearings in Congress, 
Uh, Obama's claiming he'll have some executive order to review it uh, so he can act like he's not part of it. President Barack Obama's new Homeland Security Secretary is offering his first public hints that executive action the administration might take on immigration, suggesting changes to a much-criticized program that uh, runs the names of people booked for local crimes through a federal immigration database. So they're also spinning it back like they won't run people through a database, but that they will do something on the deportation. So a lot of spin. And again, that's whatever Obama does, they end up claiming they're going to do one thing and then doing another. But advocates who have pushed Obama for bold action with immigration legislation stalled in Congress <laughs> wasted no time in declaring that such steps wouldn't go far enough. Homeland Security Secretary Jean Johnson, or Ja Johnson, uh, tasked by Obama with reviewing the nation's deportation policy to see whether it can be made more humane, said Thursday that the so-called Secure Communities Program needs a fresh start. The program allows immigration and customs enforcement officials to ask local police and sheriffs to detain people who have been booked and whose fingerprints match in a federal database for immigration violations. Let me, let me explain something. So I started that out by saying, hey, it's a good thing they're having to talk about not you know, just deporting all these felons, but then they spin it back and say, but we won't even run it through the database. So again, it's just, it's total spin. ICE can then decide whether to deport them. That's led to complaints that people are being deported for immigration violations without being convicted of any crime other than minor offenses. I thought you're here illegally. Police and sheriff's officials also complain that people are afraid to interact with law enforcement because they worry they'll be deported following recent court rulings that raise questions about the program. Local governments increasingly have announced plans to refuse to honor the detention request. So the illegals are being legalized by fiat. In comments Thursday on PBS NewsHour program, Johnson indicated he might aim to revamp the program to focus on people who actually have been convicted, not just those arrested or booked for aggravated felonies. In my judgment, secure communities should be an efficient way to work with state and local enforcement and reach removal priorities that have those are convicted of something. And it just goes on and there's a mention uh, in the news of, you know, oh, well, but we won't again deport people that are already felons or, or that we will start deporting them and, and then won't release them, to be clear. You start getting into all their spin, it gets confusing. Uh, but they're saying basically that they will look at actually deporting someone and not releasing them if they're a felon. But then they just got re done releasing 36,000 people who were felons, many of them aggravated. So it's just lies within lies. The lies are so incredible, I get confused when I was just reading over that and uh, breaking some of that down. Absolutely mind-boggling to see that unfolding. But um, global warming scientists cover up skeptics' damaging review paper, Echoes of Climate Gate, Climate McCarthyism. That's out of the Times of London and the Daily Mail, as well as Breitbart, DC Underwater, Not If But When. Meanwhile, there's snowfall in Chicago. Those are the stories up on DrudgeReport.com in the left-hand corner breaking that down. It's a total hoax. The Antarctic and Arctic are getting bigger than they have in the history of satellites since the 1960s showing what's happening. But every summer they show the satellite feed of it beginning to melt, expand and contract, expand in the winter, contract in the summer, and they say, look, Within a few decades, it'll totally melt. We'll all be dead. Al Gore said back in, what, 2003, that by 2013, the entire Arctic would be melted in summer and in winter. And it's record size. Doesn't matter. NASA came out, one of their scientists this week, we wrote about it at Infowars.com, and said that the entire section, one of the, look like up to a third of Antarctica down at the bottom, would be melted. And it doesn't matter when it doesn't come true. It's the fear mongering. And here's the Times of London today. Scientist and cover up of damaging climate review. Research, which heaped doubt on the rate of global warming, was deliberately suppressed. Let's get Lord Moncton on next week by scientists, maybe even this Sunday. 
because it was less than helpful to their cause, it was claimed last night. In an echo of the infamous climate...